Hi folks, Jeff from Orange Acres Cars, Trailers, and Welding, and we are going to show you today this 6 foot by 12 foot heavy duty flatbed trailer. Now we also make these in a variety of sizes. You can get it in a uh, 5 foot wide or an 80 inch wide or a uh, that's as wide as you can get them as 80 inch, but we can also weld the wings on them if you want them all the way up to 7 or 8 foot, but that's more money. So, but uh, there's a couple different styles, but uh, this one's the 12 foot. Now with the 12 foot you get the channel frame versus with the 10 foot you get the angle iron frame. And that basically is, uh, this, is ang this is 2 by 3 angle here, it's 3 16 this is two by three channel here, inch and a half by three inch channel. So it's stronger over the lengthwise, and that's why we use it uh, for on your 12 foot trailers because it's a little bit more of a span. But let's take a look at this. Of course, all our tra trailers here have a, um, a three sixteenths thick square tube tongue. Now this is what's different about ours in the competitions. It's thicker on the inside. And what that means is that there's it's 50% thicker. And yes, it does add a little bit of weight, but in 20 years, since you can't paint the inside of the tongue, uh, the other ones are going to rust from the inside out. And it's only an eighth inch thick, so you know you uh, rust half of it through, then you've got a sixteenth of an inch of metal holding your trailer together. And that's why we used uh, the uh, three sixteenths, because then you'd have full eighth inch even in 20 years. So if like if you go to a junkyard and you look at old. Toyota truck frame they're made out of eighth inch and you know they're all like in, from the 70s they're completely rotted through so that's why uh, we, we use that 3 16 thick tongue and that's the big difference between us and the competitors also our a-frames are 2 by 3 inch they're not 2 by 2 eighth inch they're 2 by 3 3 16 as well so that full tri-frame tongue just makes everything stronger uh, it's got a swing lock jack uh, and that I put that one on this one we also have a variety you can get a drop foot as well or the big wheel swing lock as well um, but that's a swing lock jack and that that is the big wheel swing lock I'm sorry but uh, that tucks down the reason I did that is so if you want to put a pickup camper on this you could slide it underneath the pickup camper and uh, that's why we did that it's got stake pockets all the way around now all our trailers have a bolt down decking system so you undo these lock washers that are on the bottom of this plate and this plate removes so you can take the deck boards out. You want to run your deck through a planer, you want to stain them 365 degrees. We, we stain the tops of these, we don't stain the bottoms of them, but uh, we can, it's more money, but it just depends on what you want to spend. Uh, but uh, if you want to take your boards off and sand them, run through a planer, stain them, as well as if you want to take your whole trailer down have it rhino lined. Uh, you can take the decking off first and do that or paint underneath it without having to turn upside down or lift it in the air so you can take the decking off pretty easily there's stake pockets all the way down you can see here this is that more of that three inch channel our number two cross members made a three inch channel and then two by two cross member as well that's made a two by three that's three sixteenths as well so we've got these those uh heavy duty cross members so that keeps the trailer from bowing side to side and that's why we use that 3 16 there uh, it's got a 3 16 fender support as well and those are 14 gauge uh, tread plate fenders they're really strong I'm gonna sit on one you can see it's not flexing when I sit on it it's not a tin foil fender like a lot of the cheap brands have this is a premium Dexter easy lube axle underneath this rubber cap right here is a grease circ that grease circ goes all the way through the axle and hits the back bearing so you can grease it and the grease will go all the way to the back bearing come back and hit the front bearing and that's the way uh, you grease those you just pop those right off you don't have to have the bearings packed you don't have to risk the wheel falling off because you packed it incorrectly or you didn't you over tighten the lock nut and burned out the bearing uh, the easy lubes are just idiot proof and the best things to use and uh, you can just you grease them at Jiffy Lube or any other place when they grease the ones on your car you know like the tie rod ends on your car have a little grease circ that has the same style right there um, there's a six ply trailer radial tire and uh, this is a 3500 pound GVW axle each tire is rated for 1820 pounds those are full 15 inch tires those aren't 14s they're 15s and they carry more weight that way uh, combined total of those two tires is going to be at about, uh, oh, what was that, 18, it's going to be about 30, 36, 40, so a little bit more 
capability for the tires than what the axle can handle but that's good because some of the weight's going to be on the tongue of the trailer so it's a 3500 pound axle but you're going to have some of the weight on the tongue of the trailer which is going to put on the transfer onto your truck so that's the way those go so you can put a little bit more than 3500 pounds but then you have to deduct for the weight of the trailer too so we have the box in tail lights you can back right up against those and it's not going to break the light it's going to bend the tail light mounting before it, or break that off before it makes uh, breaks the t uh, the headlight or tail light and that's uh they use a standard 1157 bulb like your chevy trucks do um that's the reason i use those they're 99 cents for a new bulb uh they're about uh six bucks for a new tail light at uh, walmart and uh if you or you can buy one from me for five bucks uh, they're a lot cheaper to replace than those led ones the led ones cost you about thirty dollars a piece uh we can get them if you want them they're about fifty dollars for a set for just the lights alone if you break one then you're another place that with you know another fifty dollar one so that's why it's got a little ramp bar here in the back so you can put some ramps into that drive up if you had a, a yukon or a rhino you know or whatever they call those uh you know side by side atvs would be great it's 12 foot by six foot long it's probably going to be about six foot four in between the fenders it's got stake pockets got extra stake pocket here in the back so you can build some sides and then build a bar uh, a rack to go around things so just drop a two by four in those stake pockets put a piece of plywood on you got instant racks throw a tarp over it now it's an enclosed trailer uh you guys a couple uh washers right here we put those there just so you have a place if you have racks on the side you got a place to tie down some uh tarps or something like that if you want to tie down tarp over the top of it as well as we put a couple extra loops down along on those cross member ends as well so if you want to take a look at this trailer and see if it's still here give me a call at 370-5466 otherwise i'll have it down on the lot uh and uh, if it's sold, I can build you another one. Just let me know what you want. Uh, and we do custom orders. We have also available different sizes. We also have deck over style trailers where you can put a raft over the top or deck in between style. So just let me know what you what you were thinking and what you want for it. Uh, this is a two inch ball coupler. This is the heavy duty uh, 5,000 pound capacity coupler. It's bigger than the 3,500 pound we use as well. It's zinc coated underneath the paint. So. Uh, that's the it's got a little bit thicker metal in it than it looks the same but it's just made out of thicker metal so if you want the heavier duty uh, coupler let me know on that one too this one's fully fully loaded so thanks for tuning in check out our website orangemt.com yeah for videos and more or other trailers and that kind of stuff and what else we have built for people and what we can build for you but yeah you can see also has those cornering marking lights on there as well so thanks for tuning in bye bye